Now once you join the home group and you want to be able to share a file or folder with everybody who's joined the home group as well, it's really simple. All you have to do is go ahead and find a file or folder and right click, go to share with, and remember this in an earlier training video when we were talking about sharing folders on the basic network, we bypassed the home group and went down to specific people. So when I click on that, you still get the option here when you click on the drop down arrow to share with somebody in the home group. Click on it, click add, adds it down below, and you can set the permission for all those who have access or who join the home group by clicking on the drop down arrow to read only those files or to make changes to it. In any case, if I go ahead and say read write, click share, and I'm done. When I go ahead and right click, I can go to share with and choose the options here. I can go ahead and choose home group read. Now which one is it? Is it read or read write? If you want to find out what's being shared, then right click on the file or folder, go to share with. It's not going to mark it here. You have to go down to specific people and then look in the list here. It's the home group read. So to me, when I want to share anything with the home group, it's easier to go ahead and right click, go to share with, to read or read write for the home group than to have to go that extra click to specific people and get this window here. And then click the drop down arrow and choose home group and then click it to read or write. I mean, those are three or four extra clicks. We're trying to go green here. We're trying to save energy. Because the more clicks I make, the more energy I expend, the more food I have to consume, yada yada. In any case, one other thought here is that if you've got this set up to share with everyone, don't even mess with the home group because the home group is just a layer over the network. So whether or not I'm part of the home group, if you make it available to everyone, well, everyone has access to it. So the home group, again, is just a community, a one level up, that says, while everyone has access to the network, unless you're part of the specialist community or the home group, then you won't have access to it, okay? And then when you're done of making any changes, of course, be sure to click share to be able to set that file or folder to be shared with those permissions. Now, how do I access a folder that's being shared, but only for the home group users? Well, it's the same way as you recall in an earlier training video when you're trying to access other shared folders on the network. So for example, I told Jason on his laptop here to share his folder with the picture of his puppy, the folder that he called Carrie, the name of his puppy. I want him to share that, but only to the home group community, not to anybody else on the network. So to access that folder, Again, it's just the same way as we went over in the previous training videos on accessing any shared folder on the network. Just go ahead and open up any folder on your computer, like exercises. Come over here to the network, click on it. Go ahead and find Jason's laptop, double click. Now, I don't see the carry folder up here on the top of the first level of his shared folders or files. So I'm going to have to drill down. I'm going to go ahead and have to double click the users and find his login username, which is laptop, double click, and then go to his desktop, double click, and then there's the carry folder, which nobody else will see or have access to if they're not part of the home group. They would get to this far and go, huh, nothing here, in which case I could double click and, oh, there's the poochie. Let's look at him one more time. He's such a cute puppy. Okay. Now you may be asking me, as we went over in a couple of training videos already, over here in the navigation pane, if I have to drill through the network to be able to access those things that are shareable to the home group, then what's the purpose of the home group over here in the navigation pane? Well, when you turn it down for Jason's laptop, and I turn that down, shouldn't I be able to see Carrie's folder here? So as a member of the home group, I have easier access to it than rather drilling down through the network to his computer, to that folder on his computer. I mean, why not make it available here in the home group? Well, that's a good point. By default, the folders that are available in the home group here are those that appear on Jason's computer in his libraries. So on my computer, when I expand the libraries, you see the four folders here for documents. When I expand it, my documents, public documents, well, it's the same thing on the home group. When you join the home group, it's going to open up and share all the folders in the libraries. So if I turn down documents, he's sharing my documents and the public documents. So before you join the home group, or after you join it, you may not want to share those files within my documents or your documents, maybe just the public. How do you go ahead and set those permissions, whether or not you want to share them with the home group? Again, just right click, go down to share with, and then share with nobody or specific people. And right now, everybody who's joined the home group has access to it. 
if I go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and say remove, and then click share, and then click done, my documents is no longer shareable, at least with anybody else in the home group can view the contents therein. Okay. Let me give you an example. When I come down here and click on my documents in the home group here for Jason's laptop, click on it, I've got access to it, don't I? Let me go ahead and tell Jason to um, go ahead and right click on the folder in his libraries and remove the share with the home group option and then we'll see what happens. Wow, did you see that? It completely removed it so when I come down here and click on it, I can see nothing now in his My Documents folder. Sure, it's still viewable here, but I can't see anything in it. So let me try to refresh it. Let me go to Public Documents, click back on My Documents, nothing. So you want to keep that in mind when you join the home group. Well, when you join any network, you want to come up here and right-click to make sure you know who you're sharing with, which hopefully is nobody, if you don't trust them, or specific people. This folder right here, My Documents, everybody else has access to it who has a user account on my computer. There's my account, there's, well, that could be your son, that could be your wife, a coworker. In any case, they all have access to that folder, but the home group doesn't have access to my documents. Of course, I can eliminate Dreamforce and Kershaw from having access to my documents, and that's fine. But as far as the home group's concerned, here are the libraries on my computer, my documents, public documents. I just want to share public, so I leave those alone. But my documents, I removed it from sharing with the home group. Now, as I was mentioning before, if I go ahead and I set a folder, like we did on Jason's laptop, the carry folder for his puppy, to be shared only in the home group. Let me go ahead and close the libraries here on my navigation pane. Well, as I said, by default, when you join the home group, it shares all the folders in your libraries here. So if I just tell Jason to go ahead and add that carry folder to his libraries, as you learned how to do it in the libraries training video, then it should come down here and give me access. Maybe I just need to have him add it to the documents library. So I'll go ahead and tell him to do that. Have him right click on his folder and go to include in library and let's include it in the documents. And there it is. It populated as soon as he added it. So I click on it and boy that makes it so much easier to be able to access it from the libraries by expanding the home group, expanding Jason's laptop and coming here without having to go, well, let me come here to the uh, public documents that he's sharing and then let me come down here to the network and find out what's available for the home group. Put it all right here. But then of course he doesn't have to dump the whole folder in there. He can just go ahead and copy the document to the public documents folder and share it there. But if he wants to share an entire folder, don't make me work for it by going through the network. Go ahead and add it to the libraries, in which case, because we're members of the home group, I have immediate access to it right there. And if Jason no longer wants to make this shareable to the home group, he can right-click on that folder that he added to the, the documents library and change the share with from the home group to remove and follow the steps there. And you can see that now I'm blocked from it. So when I click OK, if I try to access the folder, it says, nope, 